Hello and welcome back to Goody's Radio Workshop. On the bench today we've got a Roberts, there's a surprise, and this is the model R9974. Little bit more modern than we're used to seeing on my channel, but this is our own kitchen radio. It does have an issue that I'm hoping to resolve today, and that is the power switch, the power button, sorry, uh, which is here when you press Sometimes it works, other times not. So I'm hoping that that it just needs a clean behind there. I've never taken one of these apart before. I have no schematic or any other information about it. So let's have a look and see. Got the batteries inside which I'll need to remove. These are actually double A batteries, the GP Supers, but they're inside a D size spacer, which means that you don't have to go to the expense of buying the actual D size batteries, you can just use the more common and cheaper double A batteries. Useful, and you can get them from such places like Amazon, that's where I bought these ones from. Take out the rest of the batteries. I have no idea at the moment how this thing comes apart, but I guess we'll find out. The screws with arrow markings on the case. So let's see if I can get in, and I can. There's one that's loose. And that was a bit tighter. Three, one in the middle. And switch around. That one doesn't want to move, different screwdriver perhaps might help and that that one. And the same for that one as well. Although that one is actually moving. Let's see if I can see inside for the orientation of the screw. There we go. I think that might have got it. Are there any under the aerial? There are. There are two really tiny ones underneath the aerial, so I will need a different screwdriver for that one. Let's see if we can lift that apart now. There we go. I don't know what the state of play is for removing this and getting to that membrane. Maybe have to prise off the volume switch just by the feel of it. There we go. Something is particularly tight in there. Is that the screw? Have I undone it enough? I haven't undone it enough. Let's close up the battery door, turn that over, and we should have five of those and two of the others. And we do, and I've just lost one underneath the power supply. There we go. So now this should come apart. 
as expected, there's not an awful lot going on inside here. So if I disconnect the speaker, this is a 4 ohm 3 watt speaker and it looks remarkably similar to those you would see on a DAB set. still attached so I'll fire up the soldering iron and we'll remove that. And there's the two halves now separated and the radio almost dropped onto the floor but I caught it with my knee. Now it looks a lot like this is held down, there's one screw and another one there, so perhaps just the two screws holding that in, that's incredible. There's one, and the other one just here. And will that now lift up? It will. that come out of there. Oh, there is another screw there just hiding underneath the wire. Will that now lift up? It will. But it feels like there's some sort of restriction there. As I say, this is can't we? So the power switch is this one here. And it doesn't look like there's an awful lot to be done with that. But I will drop some switch cleaner straight into the switch just in case it's a little bit dirty and I'll work that in several times. Well, many, many, many more than several times. And then we'll put it back together. There we go. It looks like as well. If I really wanted to, I could change the LED colour, because the LEDs are on a separate board there. That might be something that uh, I ask Mrs Cody's about, and it may be a job for me in the future. Because at the moment they're orange, it might be quite nice if they were, well, obviously blue. Right, now let's get it back together and see if the power switch works more properly than it did before. And it did right. Yep, so there we go. Right, set the clock. Radio has to be off. Press and hold the set button. Turn... Oh no, you don't turn. You press tuning. So the time is 15.30. Ah, we're old school. Press the set button again. Mm, 15.30 and 45 seconds. I'll go for 15.31. Uh, and that's that done. So, light press on there now. Turn the volume down. Let it do an auto-tune. 
Off. 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 Yeah, that's good. So aside from putting the screws back in, uh, which I'll do in a moment, that's uh, a successful thing. I'll give this a clean down and I shall return this to Mrs. Cody's favourite kitchen window ledge. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.